It happened. Hey, we're alive, everybody. Oh, we did the thing! Whoa! Patrick! Welcome, everyone. Oh, oh god. Uh, Hold on. Oh, I actually- do I still have the Twitch channel open? Yeah, I still have the Twitch channel open on the other tab. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> So you get to hear you get to hear us uh, you get to hear a loop for a second there everybody uh, but bada bing bada boom uh, let me go and post this here and what a fun thing to audio loop I know right I'm just <laughs> hello Cod we're doing pretty good I would say not to speak for everyone but. <laughs> But. Sorry, been ahead of time, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I'm not, I'm not deceased yet. I, I feel like I've been cheating in this episode. Where, where, where's the uh, inevitable dis destruction? Yeah, we're all gonna die. Man, where's the mm. fucking bench, come on? Oh, oh man. Oh. We're gonna finally destroy that bench. Yeah, that's what this episode's about. Goodbye, oh, bench. Yeah, boys. Let's, it let's took, get that bench. It took 85 episodes for us to actually destroy the bench, but we did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, we need to agree to it fast. We, you know, that is very true. We need to what? Yeah. Agree. We need to agree to kill the bench. True. How are you going to get everyone on board? What kind of bribes are necessary? <laughs> One second, let me get some benches. Let's just snap, snap, snap. <laughs> snap. What would one bribe all, all Altus with? Is there anything other than money that he values? Uh, I think I mean, if you bribe him with a lead on <laughs> getting rid of the outclass, it's fucking well. I'm oh, sorry, I have a class. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Hello. I was thinking of something else, like a meepo. <laughs> <laughs> Any, I mean, take it away, Austin. Really? Oh, okay. Uh, well, you, yeah, yeah. You could bribe him with, with a prayer like alchemy ingredients. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks to Diglett, we, you know, we have a segue, and you know me, I had to, I just have to take those segues. So, hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 85 of Destruction Bench Agreement, our weekly tabletop RPG series run in the anime campaign system, otherwise known as the Epithet System. The series follows the titular Destruction Bench Agreement and uh, its contestants as they get involved in worldly and otherworldly affairs. It is marketed as depending on who you're asking, either a, tor like a, you know, a typical shonen anime fighting tournament, and there's a lot of people that just view it as a fake show kind of like wrestling, but regardless of which side of the fence you're on, it's most certainly real, and a lot of bullshit happens here. It's just crazy, it's contestants, as I said, get involved in pretty weird stuff, and uh, a lot of them have grown a lot closer because of it. It's kind of a hot spot for abnormalities. Uh, and with that, a very similar uh, meta gimmick we have is that uh, every week we have a slightly different set of GMs, players, and player characters, so it's always very slightly different. Uh, and yeah, speaking of those, let's introduce everybody, starting with our GMs. So, Zanza. Uh, hey, I'm Zanza. Uh, I am the GM. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I know I've said this many times to the people playing this, but I want to like set, put it out to the world. Uh, this is gonna be potentially very short it might not have a combat it's going to be very different from the usual dba episode i don't think you should come in this with the same kind of expectations uh that's why we're having another episode later and just oh, you don't know, have spoil fun with it all. Right. well i've already spoiled it we're having another episode later hey, nerd. Yeah. Ooh, hey. this is more of like a supplementary thing uh anyway but yeah uh it'll be fun yeah, it'll be something, all right. Uh, then, up next, let's start introducing our players, starting from top to bottom of our Discord list. So, starting up first, we got Diglett. Howdy ho! I'm a returning player, and quite, quite often I'll be reprising Waylon Motif, everyone's favorite resident locker boy slash hamster. Mm hmm. He's gonna have a fun time. Yeah. Uh, up next. We have Gecko. Oh, hello. I'm Gecko, and I'll be playing Altus Flamel, who is just having a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he might have a above average <laughs> this time. 
<laughs> Up next, yeah. we have Liger. Yo. Yo, hey, it's, uh, it's me. Whoa. S -s I'm Liger. That's, that's me. I'm playing Entoma. Nice. I don't know who Entoma is. He doesn't <laughs> know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, then yeah. Up By the way, Liger, yeah. did you answer some of those questions I sent you? I don't know. Uh, check your DMs, loser. Oh, there it is. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dumbass. All right. <laughs> uh, then up next on the player list. Well, hey, it's me. Hey, I am Patronix or Austin, whichever you prefer. Uh, and if you've been around before and know my roster of characters, you would notice that none of the characters here are my characters. What do you mean? You're playing Zephyr. <laughs> Well, I did make her, but you know, sh uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm playing someone today. You'll see who they are. You know, you'll see. Uh, but oh. that's a that's a secret surprise that will uh, surprise the audience and none of the players because they already know later. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, up it last. It won't be much later. I will tell you. Yeah. Uh, up, but up last, but certainly not least, we have Darkstar. Hello. Hey, it's me, uh, Star. I'm. Uh, playing Noel, uh, and just for the sake of people who may or may not know, uh, I, because this is the second time she's appeared, her parents are going through a divorce. Her dad has custody this week, so she's in holy mode. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? <Well, hey. laughs> uh, so those of all are all of our players. We've got going. We have plenty of chat goblins as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy what we're going for. This should be an interesting <laughs> time from what I've heard. And uh, if you are enjoying what you're seeing and you want to either see more, know when you can see more, or talk to people who also like seeing more, uh, make sure to join our Discord server. Point dining! Whoa, there's the link! Oh, man! There's the link. Join it if you're interested. But otherwise, unless anyone has anything else that they need to say before we get started, we can hand it off to Zanza. I see from the sounds of it. <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, um, Alright, uh, well I will say, uh, let's set the scene for this episode. Uh, so the five of you, Noel, Waylon, Altus, Antima, and Zephyr, uh, we're going to be in this uh, wacky GBA episode. However... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the last person you need for your team has been running quite late, and you guys are getting a little antsy and a little bored, so you can roleplay for a bit. Oh. Oh, I hope they aren't in the apple mines. Apple mines? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that place is bad. That, that's where fruit comes from? I knew it was terrible. <laughs> it's like eating dirt, then. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, if, if it's mines, it's underground. And underground's dirt. So apples are dirt. You know, his logic is pretty sound. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, who do I talk to? <laughs> hey, uh, kid, what, what's with the, the pet, by the way? Is... Oh, uh, well... Uh, th this is Mika, my cat. <laughs> uh, he squints at it. <laughs> it don't kinda... worry about it. It it does feel eldritch in nature, yeah. Oh yeah, no, like <laughs> like horrifically eldritch in nature. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Good. Noel is the opposite of that. So I'm just gonna post the uh, a the a passive. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, <laughs> anything anything particularly uh, was was the exact thing that would particularly piss off a, which includes eldritch beings and sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna Man. go ahead and roll to see how she feels about that. Yeah, right. She's saying you know, but she's not happy about it. <laughs> It's a good thing that, uh, Duel is not in Eldritch form. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a cute cat. Thanks! Uh, um, they didn't used to look like this, and also sometimes they're a dog. Oh! Yeah, yeah that makes sense. 
Uh, Objective better than cats. Dude, when I was a kid, I had a, I had a pet lizard. Oh, this so, is nice. It's gonna be step you up. You seem more like a crab person to me. Oh yeah, yeah. Make, make, make the cat into a crab. Don't touch my cat. I, I don't know how to do it, and that's why I'm asking you. I no. How does that? Hey, uh, hey, uh, oh. you. We're a weird guy. What's up with you? Uh, 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 you do see him look up. He's, he, he looked like he was intensely struggling to understand what looks to be the poker rule book he found with this table. <laughs> I see. I One of the greatest imagine. puzzle books of all time. <laughs> yeah. You don't know if Waldo book once. <laughs> oh my god. I mentioned I mentioned the rule book has like chips as like scribbled throughout the entire rule book. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> it used to be how to play poker for dummies, and now it is how to play <laughs> <laughs> Yeah man, I just God, when will this fucker hurry up and get here? Uh and with that don't swear. <gasps> the oh. child. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe. <laughs> so this is the oh. session I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys are all just waiting around. Uh, it's been an incredibly long time. Uh, well, it's, it's been a while. You know, you guys were going to get ready for... Uh-oh. Uh, the next session of uh, DBA, but uh, par uh, par player... Well, one of the six people just hasn't come here yet, you know, it's just you, uh, you, uh, yeah, Altus, Noel, Waylon, Entima, and Zephyr. Oh, and Dante is just hanging out here, uh, so, for some reason. Oh, so, so role play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what, hang on, hang on, let's just, uh... Yeah, your, your dog's in the wrong is, form. Is this no, an no, no, alternate no, 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 universe? No. Oh. Alternate universe? Alternate universe? <laughs> alright, alright. So, so I was, as I was saying, I'm in immense pain. Right now, as the being that I've sealed with my soul is trying to kill you, uh, huh? Wait, what? It's, you know, you're like half ghost. No, I'm I'm half candescent real being, technically. Oh, you too. Ah, yes. <laughs> you like goes to hold his stomach as <laughs> and he tries to get out again. <laughs> That's gonna be you one day. What? Uh, when you what? finish your boomer transformation. Where, where, where the... Oh, there he is. There's nothing. I was just grabbing some booze. <clears throat> I see. You're a man of culture as well. <laughs> he, he does a finger gun to Zephyr before downing a bottle. <laughs> Me. So, uh, why are well, you here exactly, anyway, other than the, the free alcohol? Oh, yeah, so, uh, there's this thing that's going around, uh, you know, I'm a time cop, not sure if you've heard of those before, it's a thing, whatever. Uh, so, there's this thing that we're, that's been going down, I've been sent to investigate it, something, something, timeline, something, something, timeline collapsing, I don't know, there's a lot of details, stuff's kind of going missing and I'm trying to find it. Wait a minute, you're, you're that guy who took away all the naughty toes. Wait. Oh no, I said the bad word, now the bad music's coming! Yeah, you said it. <laughs> what? One sec, where the fuck what? is it? Uh... Oh, that's not a mustache! And then, yeah. I can leave, right? And then. <laughs> you. I zoomed out. <laughs> <laughs> you feel. Hey, Zanza. A rumbling. <laughs> hey, Z hey, Zanza. Yeah? What the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe I knew exactly what this episode was before we even did it. <laughs> oh boy. So guys, you feel the ground beneath you splitting apart as under the surface oil is spilling out and lashing out and just destroying pretty much everything it comes into contact with. Uh, okay. fact, you specifically see Zephyr here, kind of caught off guard, uh, ends up uh, uh, doubling back as... One sec. Oil just comes in and consumes her into the void. <laughs> huh. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. all right, we gotta go. I think I may oh. have found out what's causing all the disappearances. Dante, like, takes a second. Wait, it took the booze! Damn it! Are you so calm? Oh, oh no, let's go for the door! Oh, I gotta hey, move my butt. Hey, hey, Dad, I think there's something wrong going on. Can you just, like... No, you can't pick me up now. What do you, what do you mean, Peril? You... What does that mean? Yo, uh... Oh, actually, actually, star, star, star. Yeah. Specifically, you attempt to call your dad, no response. Oh! Uh, and actually, Althus, Althus, uh, I guess you could try to give an a, a resist roll if you want, but, uh, A immediately freaks out in his, uh, in, in his summon. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It's, yeah. it's, yeah. Cool. it's almost like acting as, like, a sensor, like it's trying to find something, but it, like, keeps running around, like it can't find it. <laughs> yeah, Dante looks over to Enzima. Yo, uh, I know that the loss of all that property, especially the, you know, the alcohol, yeah, it's kind yeah, of- Yeah, whatever, hold, hold on, I'm on the last page. Uh, this Entoma seems to be struggling a lot less to read this in manual. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, hey, bro. You know what, hey, hey. I can teach, I can give you some poker, I can give you some poker lessons, come on. Alright. You know what, fuck it, let's get out of here. Alright, no, uh... Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, Yeah, Waylon, okay. actually, because you were so close to it, a little bit of the oil splashes on you. Take 10 max stamina damage. <laughs> as right. as the splashes go on you, it's as if they just go through your body as holes appear in you where the oil splashes were. No, 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 no. Just realized I need to get Mika's sheet up. Hang on. There we go. Anywho, that, that, that's enough. Let's try, let's try to go through. L listen here, uh, Ens uh, Ensima. I, uh, you know, I know you're trying to learn poker, but you sure you don't know it? Because you have one hell of a poker face. I don't know what that means. How are you all so fucking calm? I'm all, hey, listen, listen here, kid. There's, this is the reason I'm here. This is my job. Why won't this damn thing open? Uh, I will say, actually, Waylon, if you want to, you can jump in, uh, and you'll pop out later. Uh... Okay. Oh, he, he's losing his mind enough to do it. Alright. Ah. Uh, and just gonna throw out a handful of cheat sheets behind if people wanna follow him. This is where we put those two lucky twins, isn't it? Whatever. Hey, should we just go? Yeah, no, it's time uh, to run, guys. Yeah, no, 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 you guys should yeah. run. All those, uh, reps a chain around A and just pulls this freaking out catches A with him like come on Antimus rolling like 1995 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah hold on Oh no if it happens now <laughs> it wouldn't be funny But yeah you guys you guys going to the next area uh, yeah, I mean, might as well. Yeah. If, if anything, yeah, you, got, you guys should hurry up. Yeah, so yeah. I can yeah. Grab you. So Dante, Dante goes over to Entima. Okay, I get it. Oh, Drinks. Bread. It's sad. No time for soda. Oh. D that year is cursed anyway. Let's go. He got a. He got a. He got some Mentos. Not even soda. He's eating it. Oh, this is like he's struggling so hard to contain A from like one the cat and two just like. Instantly killing yourself by jumping into the oil or something. Hey, so I mean, big angel lady, you're really cool looking. Please stop freaking out. I'm trying to freak out. I'm 14. Uh, <laughs> you, 
Now you yeah. the next the area. The 14-year-old is more noble than you. Uh, <laughs> and bad. you see, uh, it's pretty much immediate chaos as everything's breaking in. Uh, let's, uh, let's look over here. Uh, you see Clarice immediately looks over to some kind of time watch thing and teleports out. Uh, Rave looks somewhere and teleports away. Uh, or, you know, attempts to. Uh, it's pretty much complete chaos. Everyone's freaking out in one sec. Uh, where is she? Ooh, she might have not placed her. Uh. Um, one sec. Let me grab someone real quick. Uh. Yeah. Merid- Uh, Dante, I will say. Yeah. Meridian is over here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she immediately turns to you and is like, Yo, Dante, what's going on? You know what's going on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they've, uh, they've debriefed you on the, uh... And then while you're saying this... Uh, one sec, where is it? Uh, a... A, uh, a split... Immediately forms and perfectly bisects her in half. As the Light two year. have split apart and just fall into the fucking, uh, into the fucking, uh... In, in, into the oil below. <laughs> yeah, w w once that oh. happens, Dante, for the first time in his fucking life, takes the booze bottle and slams it on the fucking ground. He ain't drinking anymore. Oh, man. Oh, oh as, as this sort of, he sees this happening, I'll just gonna quickly jump and, like, try to come at Niall's eyes. Yeah. Huh? Uh, what? you guys, uh, you guys you know? should probably Be keep running God. towards the exit. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use one of my abilities, uh, real quick. Cause that realize we can run, but also I want to be able to fly. <laughs> uh, sure, you can- you can fly for now. Everyone that's uh, here that can hear me, make sure to just get out, get away! <laughs> Ophi is already used her outclass to become immune to oil. <laughs> it's fine. If, if it's alright with you, Zenza. Oh, oh uh, actually, no. actually, uh, if she used her outclass to come to immune to oil, you see she's sitting there, but it's as if that sort of, like, radiant energy that comes with her outclass when she did that is slowly being stripped away by the oil, and oh, she's, no, like, problematic. It's, so instead of going in quickly, it's like she's slowly melting alive in there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, uh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll oh, to yeah. use my mask ability, Sansa. Go ahead. I just wanna, you know, I, like I have to roll for it for... Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I didn't. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna put on... Uh, this... I, this. I think we're, guys, I think we're in the bad ending. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, uh, is, is, is A doing anything particularly, like, would you say... <laughs> Uh, it, again, seemingly, like, beaming around the place as if looking for something that's moving around incredibly quickly and, like, can't yeah. catch up. Uh, but it's kind oh. of sensing something forwards, generally. Yeah. Alright, well, I, I no can just fly over, I guess. If uh. you can. Uh, I'm gonna warn you, you're gonna have to roll. Oh, okay. Mm. Because, because, because down here, the pit has filled with oil and it's, like, splashing around. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, in fact, actually, Altus Dante also give me a roll. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay, so Altus and Dante, mm -hmm. uh, some oil splashes on you. It's worse for you, Dante. It's sort of like, like you managed to block it kind of with one of your arms, but you're, but it like cuts through into <clears throat> the bone on one of your arms. Uh, take, uh, a good 15 max stamina damage to both of you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, these aren't attached to your character sheet, so you can- I know, I know. I'm, I'm just gonna jump from here to here. Uh, hold sure on. Thing, roll for it. Yeah, hold on, Antima. Uh, I assume he doesn't hold on. <laughs> oh no, certainly yeah. not. <laughs> uh, Antima, oh. you jump over, but as you do, this tendril reaches out grabs your legs, and just rips them off. Uh, take 40 max stamina damage as your legs are removed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand. I, uh, yeah, you go, you go. Could I have pierced the mask to make that roll a 20? Uh, if you want, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll roll for that. Oh no. Oh no! <clears throat> In fact, when you try to do that, it's like, oh, oh god. Uh, don't delete yourself, by the way. <laughs> oh no, I'm so I was ready to die. <laughs> no, 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 not yet, not yet. It's not gonna yet. be worse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Um, so you take, yeah, 15 max stamina damage. Uh, and on top of that, your mask, uh, as you try to pierce your mask, it's like a hand comes out of the oil, grabs the mask, and the mask melts off of your face, and you feel that it is gone. You no longer have that mask. It's as if it's been taken from your epithet. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys, guys. I, I Am I hold at zero on. stamina. Uh, no, you're you're at uh fifteen. Uh, it, fifteen is now your max stamina as yeah. well. Dante Dante is gonna attempt to use crossing the timelines in order to merge this apart. Not I'm I am not endangering the other timeline. Also, yeah, Guire. If anything, I imagine a giant surge of epithet energy comes from him before he's absorbed by the oil. Uh, but I, uh, <laughs> um, but. Basically, uh, Dante, he's gonna just try and take an element from a previous timeline of some of the negative cubes that make up the arena to patch up some of these oil holes so we can cross more safely. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, it'll let you guys walk across these, uh, th these two, uh, breaches without yeah. wor needing to worry. Alright uh, guys, <clears throat> I'll, I've, I've got something. Uh, let me, let me try. Uh, and... Pulse is going to use, uh, using his Velcro, uh, thing that he found to his cell before. He's going to use Animus Echo to create a portal as, literally as far as he can go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, uh, it's strange. It's as if, as this keeps going, uh, that kind of warp ability is being messed with. So you open a portal, and oil spills out. <laughs> He's <laughs> quickly dodges out of the way. It's, like... it's as if wherever the portal was leading is now filled with oil. <laughs> you guys I down there in the bleachers. I, I, fuck. Well, oh, an another All roll? Right. All yeah, right. it, it, to be honest, everyone's kind of freaking out. Oh, know? yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, at this point, Dante okay, realizes. Like, like Candy's yeah. asking hey to hold her rock. Ikaria's probably, oh, yeah. you know, trying to ask assistance from her being. Yeah. Basically, if anything, oh. is what Dante's oh. trying to do is cross the timelines to get these four to a timeline where they're not dying. <laughs> these four? Yeah. Because uh, they're the near, they're the what? closest people. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, they're they're they seemingly vanished from what you know. <sighs> okay, uh, okay. Closest people. What did you, why did you jump on us? <laughs> because, I mean, hey, do you, I mean, I can get you guys out of here. It's gonna be a harder job if it's just me. Uh, okay. Uh, immediately, right. oh, Dante. Uh, yeah. Immediately behind you. Uh, right. As uh. Yep. Window. Oh. This guy, yeah. this wacky little fella, appears. Uh. And uh, yeah. he he sort oh. of goes in and like swipes at you with a bunch of oil as this f these further cracks appear in the ground. Uh, Altus, Noel, and Dante make saves. Dead? Gonna die. Mm. Huh. Hey, All right. real quick, uh, does that save yeah. count as a thing for my Monday thing, or, uh, nah, because this is a weird situation. <laughs> uh, if you want, I'm gonna tell you, no upgrades from this are gonna transfer. Okay, uh, just making sure. But yeah. Uh, uh, as soon as only no, you manage to move, flip over mm -hmm. and move over pretty well. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I assume as soon as only gets in the a like locks on and like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Immediately when he appears, a locks oh. on is like this is the source and like tries I to strike it. Also, I told you all this. Uh, you need to save. You need to make a save. Just... Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, and I will say, uh, Austin. Yeah. Um, you save pretty well. Uh, because you're basically so close to the oil and Oilington targeted you specifically, yeah. uh, you're still gonna take, uh, like, five max stamina damage, but it seems that he was specifically focusing on, uh, your sort of...
time travel device, so it won't be damaged for this whole session, but it appears that the oil is trying to mess with it, so it'll be disabled for a little bit. Damn it! And, and then Oilington immediately goes... <laughs> as he sinks back into the oil. Alright, I'm sufficiently horrified. End of the world? End of the world. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. we're gonna need to survive uh, for a little bit. Get hit. On a I don't think I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, Entima. Me neither. No, Entima, Entima, no, 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 no. Entima! I imagine Entima jumps uh -oh. into the oil You're and walking evaporates. In. <laughs> oh. Alright, you know what? You walk in. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, Altus, Dante, uh, give me other saves. You guys have stayed in that one corner for a really long time. Listen, I've been, wa I've been oh, waiting well. until everything happened, but I'll give another save. Yeah. You, you guys was... just gotta run, man. You guys just gotta run. Well, shit. Uh, uh yeah, uh, so... Oh, God. Uh, the scary thing is that this is the only one where it's the real Dante. Uh, <laughs> so, uh... A, an oil thing comes up. Ooh, one second. oil thing comes up uh, as it slashes across your arm it removes it take uh, you're going to lose uh, uh, I'm gonna say 25 max stamina uh -huh. as your arm is c c perfectly removed and uh, I'm gonna say that uh, Altus is gonna take five max damage and damage from just spray. Yeah. At this uh, at this can point, I, can I try to do something to avoid that? Uh, you can try. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's gonna use of A's channel A's thing to uh, create basically like a giant shield of light, uh, just to like take the hit for him. All right. Ooh. Uh, you know, yeah, you managed to create a shield of light that blocks it. Yeah. it. It's strange. It's like, as, as the oil hits the shield of light, the light immediately turns black, but it's like the time it takes for that to happen and for it to erode is enough for you to get out of the way. Uh, yeah, uh, that was the idea. Yeah, uh, and, and no, actually, actually, uh, thanks for the special message. Uh, so you look up here. Uh, it appears that Marlo, uh, having gone into full defensive mode, is floating uh, all of these cubes above the ground, and he's trying to, like, get as many people on it as possible. It seems that he's floating up Hope, and he was gonna get Edith next to try to sort of, uh, be safe, mm -hmm. uh, from this potential. And Marlo looks down at you guys and says, uh, what are you doing? You need to run! This is a serious scenario! <laughs> yeah! I know it is! Uh, Dan I'm trying! D Dante, Oil uh... Is scary! You guys, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, first off, just because he's here and this is what Victor would do, uh, Victor's gonna be like, Africa, fuck this shit, I'm out of here! And I'm gonna try and teleport with Victor using fucking his teleport ability. Right. Thank you, Victor, you did what I wanted you to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Victor, Victor, Victor immediately teleports in here and he's like, Oh god, my eyes! Oh, my, my oh, yeah. beautiful face! <laughs> no, no, oh, guys, guys. No. I will say, no. before, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I was gonna say that Whirlpool, oil and water don't mix. She's gonna try and get away with her passive and I'll roll for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, no, she tries to summon it, but it appears that the, the, the world's oceans are slowly being replaced with oil and it's like that's affecting her epithet. So she creates a swirl of oil that just rips her apart. Uh, the irony. Yeah, and then up here, uh, as, as Dr. Marlowe is doing all this, uh, immediately, uh, <laughs> a quite interesting figure is <laughs> behind him, and he's going to stab him with a wrench. And basically, he takes something out and he plunges it in uh, Marlo's back. Dead as dead. you see his veins turning black as they fill with oil, um, Oilington then steps back and begins to puppet him around as Marlo is like. <laughs> Like struggling against his will, and does this. Uh, oh no! Uh, oh. Good. So immediately upon activation, uh, let's see. Wendro, Williams, Wish, Abigail, Venus, Mr. Dad, uh, Desmond, Hope, Cat, 
Beast, Edith, and Noel, because you were standing so close, uh, immediately blank. Well, like they just go rigid, blank expression, and then they just start screaming nonstop as they walk towards the edge and plunge themselves in. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. While that's going on, again, because this is what he's gonna he would do. Emmerich's gonna try an exoskeleton safeguard to specifically try and stop Venus from jumping off. Yeah. The uh, these three. Sorry. The the fatal cranes jump off together. Mister Dad jumps off. Abigail jumps off. Uh, and you're trying to. Emmerich uh, exoskeleton uh, safeguard to try and save yeah, Venus. Yeah, your exoskeleton safeguard. Ooh, where, where'd you go? I, he just got erased. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, as Venus is falling, uh, Emmerich comes in to try to, like, sort of grab her and save her. Uh, and then Oilington flicks his wrists again as, uh, one sec, let me grab, let me grab something. Uh, out... Out from the from the from the ground, uh, or the, I guess you could say the oil. Something lashes out <laughs> at oh. Emric. Nagi's oh oil, God. no! <laughs> oh no! Come with As, me, like, Emric. Yeah, it's yeah, it's strange. It's like it's trying to talk in a Nagito voice, but it's like oilified. He's like. Emric. And he like grabs one sec, let me roll how how fucky this is. Uh oh no. Oh yeah, sorry. Immediately jumps up on you, slashes through. Emric's entire torso is taken out as his pieces yeah. fall in along with uh Venus. And then Marlo in his state walks over and falls over. And also Edith falls over, and so does Noel. And I uh, assume I assume that uh Oh, the this is going to stop it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, cat would the cat would probably, you know, uh, switch between things for a bit. Not sure what's going on. Yeah. Uh, Alright, you, you managed to, manage well, to or... hold Noel back, but she gets close enough that I'm going to say Noel is going to take 10 max stamina damage. Yep, yep. Okay, yep. so I'm going to do this one last thing as Dante to fuck with shit. Uh, uh, he's going to try and use Chain of Events in order to rearrange the order of events of when uh, Oilington jammed his fucking time device to make it so that happens after he tries to save these five up here. So, chain of events. And then I will uh, roll for... I will roll for it. One other roll. Oh, yeah. one other roll for merge, or... Uh, uh, for the merge, yeah. Actually yep, yep. using. Yeah. Damn it. Literally, as you're doing it, uh, and so, uh, it splashes, kills yeah. these. Yeah, literally, uh, yeah. specifically is like, yeah. you know, you know. Well, hold crazy. on, hold on, I got this. Alright. What is happening? Gone. Okay, uh, yeah. alright, at this point, we just gotta save ourselves as much as it hurts to say it. Uh, Noel is still trying to fly into the. Yeah, Dante is gonna try. And, no, no. Yeah, Dante is gonna try and grab he, he her with his last arm. Out, it's like <laughs> the uh, the effect of his overclass is like still in her mind. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and with Dante's remaining arm grab her to pull her out of this trance. All right, all right. Uh, in one second, let me do something else real quick. Hey, Zanza. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's not gonna work. You yeah, can't break an overclass like that. I figured. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> real, real quick. This um, is, listen, I said it wasn't gonna be a normal session. Yeah, but this is more than not a normal session, yeah. Santa. <laughs> I love it. Please I let this be a normal field trip. Yeah. What's What's Noel doing? <laughs> I'm using the Dante no. to make <laughs> take roughly five guilt damage. What when yeah. when if if he sees this he's gonna try and wanna riot this. If it will roll, come on. Alright, alright. And I will say while you guys are dealing with that, you guys know what rolls are. I'm sure you guys will figure out what happens. Uh in back here, a locker falls down here in the oil as uh Waylon, uh, I'm sure you can grab your token and create it. You tumble out of it as uh it appears that no matter which locker that you went to, not only was this happening everywhere around the world that you could find, but uh, during your escapades, oil 
began to seep into the locker verse and destroy it. <laughs> okay, bad news. The locker verse has, it has near infinite exits, which means there are infinite points for which the oil to get in. <laughs> okay. Fuck this. I don't know what that means, but that's bad. Uh. Okay. You know what, kid? You're coming with me. Uh, finding chain again. He's gonna pull her in, and uh. <laughs> Uh, turn, off, oh, turn off epithets. He's gonna turn off the epithets that's affecting her. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, she's being affected by an overclass. Oh uh, shit, you're right. You would need an, I would say, argue you need an overclass level effect yeah. to do that. The thing is, Altus yeah. is trying. Can he, can <laughs> he oh, oh yeah, Altus can try. Altus can try. It won't, I'm just gonna tell you it won't work. But it uh, can oh, Alright, well, he's, he's, chained, he's chained Noel up and he's kind of like dragging him along. <laughs> you know what would be really fucked up? If Malo's overclass could spread through this talent. Oh no! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go. You know what? Now that you told me that, uh, it oh, kind of. It's not spreading, but it's like in her, in, in her mind, you can feel that. Because, you know, it, it, it's it's Marlowe controlled by Oilington, right? That's, like, yeah. projecting this. It is a vision of infinite blackness that is just, like... It, it, it's Even though you're not even experiencing it directly, it's, like, shaking you to your core. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine you drag her. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're, we're dragging as much as we can. Yeah, let's uh, move her a little bit up so I can uh, copy no, you guys. Noel, how do you visit your parents? Noel can't speak right now. Wait, uh, Waylon, I can't answer the phone. Waylon, you what? didn't see it, but she's not gonna be responding. Okay. That's lovely. That's great. One secy, one quick secy. I gotta do something real quick. Uh, he is fervently chewing on his fingernails. Yeah. Uh, one, one second. Uh. Sorry, there, there's a there, there, there there's quite a few th little set pieces to keep track of if you can't tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. I'm glad you introduced us as players, which we definitely are. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've known about this session for at least a year. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys appear on the next map. Uh, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, we yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, and so it appears that Zephyr from earlier. It's pretty brutal. Oh it's god, because her passive! Fuck! Yeah, no. Her, uh, because of Zephyr's passive, she can't go out unless she is the last person. So you see half, the bottom half of Zephyr is gone, but she's still fighting. Let me adjust her stamina to be what it would be. <laughs> uh, as she's crawling, she, uh, she's just like, God, what are you guys doing? <laughs> you gotta get out of here! We're trying! I don't, even, I don't even know where you- and then as, as she's saying that, uh, these tendrils just jut out and stab her through the back, uh, but it's like because of her, uh, passive, she's still going and she, like, tries to use the, uh, the zeitgeist to cut them, uh, and she manages to, uh, they retreat further back into the, into the oil. <sighs> you guys, I think, I think there's a, there's a, there's a safe place up ahead, uh, I I doubt there's a safe place anywhere, what, to be honest. What could possibly be safe from this? Is it's, it the dumpster? I'm convinced this is the bad ending that we got somehow. Maybe we didn't collect the, the six secret emeralds or something? I don't... <laughs> Trust me, Altus, it's probably something like that. I've seen a lot of stuff like this, but never quite so bad. Yeah, no. Uh, let me, let me grab oh, a certain something. There's more map up there, I see. Oh god, one sec. Uh, sorry for stopping to, to do some G. No, it's fine. That's uh, good. Uh, alright, let me reveal areas. Up uh. here. Uh, there we go. Uh, you see up here, it's strange. Uh, there, there aren't that many people left at this point. Uh, but Enev seems to be the one that's lasted, uh, pretty long. 
Uh, it appears that he's attempted to copy Oilington's uh, passive and attempt to uh, try to like be able to enter the oil zone. But you see, he's coated in oil and he's not immediately like going out. But you can see, it's as if parts of his form are starting to sag and droop, as if they're e even with this passive. Uh, the oil itself is starting to decay that part of him. Uh, <laughs> uh, as, as he's kind of trying to find a way to fight back. Uh, and then... Alright! <laughs> Do you think you can become me? And then uh, oils, uh, oil is gonna use his oil bending thing. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it's sort of you see Enev's heart just get bent out of his body and he dies. Uh, Where, where's his oh, plus sixty nine? Noel's not conscious. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Uh, and at this point, he's like, <laughs> "What are you scabs doing here? <laughs> Why are you doing this?" What possessed you to think this is a good idea? Oh, it is a part of our master plan. But don't worry, I heard about it. Soon you'll be one with the... As he immediately creates oil over all of you guys. Hold up. I want to try... I want to do this because this is the real Dante. I'm gonna try uh -huh. this. I'm gonna try in all the time in the world to time freeze, uh, to time stop right before it hits him, just so I have the chance to escape. <laughs> uh. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, Austin, this isn't gonna be quite the end if you don't wanna use that yet. Uh, I mean, okay, okay. Well, uh, then, unless then you never do. mind. Unless no, you no, it's have a fine. Thing here. No, no, it's fine. Like, all right, all right. Well, actually. Because Dante, no, at this point, Dante would, because at this point, he would have been under the mindset that this is just a fucked timeline. Like, fuck, like, I've tried, I can't do it. Uh, in Time Stop, pulls out a walkie-talkie. Yeah, okay, this is not a one-man job, and I'm gonna try and use, while in Time Stop, because this basically would give me around five turns, I'm gonna try and uh, time in a place for everything to pull in a super futuristic, like, spaceship and have him fly at mock speeds off the planet. Uh, what do you think the black? I'm gonna give you one roll. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, actually, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, so Dante, yes. uh, you can pull out yourself from the token again. Uh, I'm uh, still under here technically, but <laughs> I know. Just I'm just saying, pull yourself out because I can't grab you. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, so you see, everyone else at, uh, when you do this is already kind of half swallowed. So you can't even like. Yeah, I you can't know. save him. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Let me let me find a spaceship asset. I was not expecting this, but it's gonna be interesting. You're gonna get a little bit more lore than you were going to. Nice. Uh, so this spaceship you managed to call in. Uh, and I assume you get on it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let me let me do some. Some quick, uh, yeah, quick calculations. Um, uh, so at this point, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, you're at this point flying out of the atmosphere as you see the entire planet, of course, cracked apart and covered in oil. Yeah, uh, but then you see. Reaching from, like, the other hot side of the planet is a giant, absolutely massive arm constructed of oil reaching out towards the, uh, towards the moon. And it's, like, crushing it and slowly turning it into oil. Uh, and in fact, I think you would notice as well. You know, actually, give me a perception check. Give me a perception I will check. give you a perception check. Dante has been bleeding out, so his vision might be a bit fuzzy. Yeah, you are missing an arm. Uh, so, oh, my cat is trying to keep my computer, sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna go say, you see, 
in the distance, stars flickering out. It appears this isn't just affecting Earth. <laughs> God. Well, as, as soon as Dante's able at this point, he'd be like, abandon timeline, go back to time prison HQ. But... <laughs> uh, well, Austin, Austin, I'm gonna go and say you're gonna try that. Yeah. But... Yeah. Uh, it appears that, of course, this oil is flightborne as uh -huh. tendrils re are, are reaching up and it's strange. It's as if this goes on longer, the oil's getting stronger. It begins to almost burn a little bit of itself to go faster than your spaceship can go, even though it's near light speed travel. Yeah. Uh, but it's... And it grabs it and like it tears it apart and right before you can travel through time, it grabs you. Yeah. Uh, and uh... Let me let me make sure this is this is all correct. You guys immediately feel yourself in a complete blank void filled with murky oil. Uh, adjust your guys's uh, health totals uh, to be correct. And I will say at this point, Noel, it's strange. It's as if being in this area, whatever ability was affecting you, uh, your mind begins to sort of disintegrate off uh as you're here fun fun correct as in as an original or minus whatever the oil is torn off already yeah you, you get rid of whatever the actually i think wayland's still at full no wayland oh, took 10. No. uh wayland yeah you, you take 10. uh because the, the these just weren't representative of your your max stamina uh so adjust. I'm confused. Are we using our new max or old max? Your 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 uh your new max that you got when you, you got damage from earlier. As uh from the oil. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot. <laughs> it appears you are entering the oil zone. <laughs> Oil zone. <laughs> Nobody leaves the oil zone except the oil. <laughs> and as Oilington's form seemingly dissolves into the oil itself, uh, something from within the oil zone appears let me just this thing <laughs> oh. let me take away the, the grid it's distracting from the effect uh there we go uh everyone roll for initiative do we have to uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you want to accept Well, that. We, we need initiative vote first, my bad. Also, I don't have control of all this. So, oh, you don't? Weird. Gave that? it to the wrong gecko. <laughs> it's uh, a bit what? confusing. What, what gecko is that? What, what gecko are you then? It, they're, they're both exactly the same, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, let me put a star next to the one that I'm using right now. Can you control now? Yes. All right. Uh. And yeah, let me let me uh give it an, add some turns to this guy, and I'll just split them out to be you know. Uh, fuck. Maybe I can't add those. All right, um. Yeah, add turn. Hmm. Uh, first of all, let's start descending. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. Yep, alright. Noel, you go first. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you at this, uh, actually, no, you know, I won't tell you that. You, you do what you want. Alright, well, I mean, to be fair, uh, she is a person and I as a player have accepted death, but I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, attempt something. Uh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um. Fucking. Uh. Uh. Stab him with salts. All right. Oh, don't know why that rolled twice. I didn't. Oh, it did for me. Weird. Uh, uh, yeah. Basically, five swords made of light come out and they stab wherever I want. Uh, but uh, uh, I mean, you like, stab him. Uh, you know, just uh, like, uh, like here, here. Pentagram shape. Why not? Yeah. Star shape. Right. Wow. Uh, like you. Also, you all just rolled a twenty for initiative. You should be oh, probably oh, yeah, up in a while. Yeah. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll make you go after in a while. There you go. Um, all right. Um. So, so does anything happen? <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. You you stab into them. It's like they sear for a bit, but of course it's strange because everything in here is a liquid. Uh, I will say you notice it's strange, right? Because everything's black in here. You can see each other just barely. Uh, but, uh, it's like, it's kind of through, like, this oil, uh, oily lens. And then you realize that normal oil is see-through, but Oilington's oil is pitch black. <laughs> huh. Uh, but yeah, you stab into it. It seems to make some kind of horrible, uh, in, you know, just disgusting scream. Uh, and you supposedly do some damage to it. And... At the end of your turn, take five max damage. damage. All right, but before I do, uh, yeah. just just before I do, uh, I'm gonna eat one of these at Dante. It's the uh, healing potion. I'm gonna say it's gonna heal a little bit. Dante, heal for two. Gotcha. And then I'll take what five mics? Yes. All right. Uh, Altus. Oh, all right. Um, Altus is pretty much accepted that. It, with the with the new revelation that there are timelines, he's pretty much accepted that this one is as a like a coping mechanism. He's kind of accepted that this is a bad bad end. Uh, but you know what? He as as a hero, which he is still, uh, he's gonna try in his last sort of attempt to make a potion. Uh, and he's gonna draw from the essence of A and Noel specifically. Right. Uh, it, so to create a giant holy hand grenade, and then he's gonna yeet it into its mouth. <laughs> it's gaping wall. All right. Uh, yeah. No, you deal. Uh, you throw it in as this massive piercing light shines out of its jaw, and it's going to take, considering this is like what its exact weakness is to be, it takes 50 damage, which is a lot, but then the oil comes in and immediately snuffs it out and smothers it uh, afterwards. Righto. Uh, Animus Echo, giant holy sword. Uh... Uh-huh. <clears throat> Yep, and then uh, A herself, of course, who is, I, I'd say this is, this could probably be described as a situation that would uh, sort of agitate A, maybe, maybe a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, uh, I will say, <laughs> A is freaking out so much, she's going to get effectively two turns, I'm going to say you get to control how destructive she is, because at this point, I'd argue that both of your goals are in perfect attunement for once. For once, uh, yes. So... Aldous tries his best, he, he, he tries to form Swords of Light, but the, the oil is getting to him and lashing him down. Uh, A is basically entered, I don't know if I go for this, but it's like entered it, it like an awakened form, trying to tap into the power she had once. Uh, With a four? She, or... No, that no, was, that was, that was Aldous as well. And she's going yeah, to try yeah. to rain like pillars of light down on this thing as her first action. Uh, right. I didn't get to writing her abilities, but that, that would be one of them. Yeah. Pillars of Light Strike. It seems to strike these eye-like things around. And yeah, no, uh, it's dealing a lot of damage uh, to it. Uh, again, it's hard to tell because this, it, it, this place feels massive. It feels like you're fighting a world. <laughs> yep. Uh, she's still going to try, and as a second action, she's going to pull out a... a 
rather generate her huge candescent sword and just slash. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna say that works a little bit worse. Uh, you strike in and you cut at its, you're like cutting at its lip, and then you strike in one area, and the oil immediately like splinters the blade and causes it to just like kind of move through the entire thing and just melt. Uh, and turn into yeah. oil, but you do. Well, she would definitely let go. And she's she's like pissed. She looks like a final like boss, like Sephiroth, just floating around. Yeah, yeah. Raining hell fury. Or uh -huh. heaven fury. This still rather. takes a, a meaty twelve. Uh, and yeah. I assume that's her turn. Yep. Uh, the eye goes next, or, or I guess the the the, the oil crack in itself. Um, first of all. Uh, one of these tendrils is going to... It's kind of hard to tell its form again, because it's like, its form is everything. Yes, Sylvia, this is the Kraken I told you about. Uh, <laughs> it's going to strike at Waylon. Wait, no, come on. Uh, you know what, yeah, you're going to somehow... Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Altus, I forgot to say, take five max stamina damage at the end of your turn just for being here. Uh, yeah. It won't knock you out, though, because it takes from your max stamina first. Uh, yeah, so Waylon, you managed to avoid it. Uh, and then it's going to try one other undulating attack with its mouth. Uh, yeah. Everyone in here, take another five max stamina damage. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh -huh. Down to 11. All right. Enzima, your turn. So, Zanza. Yeah. The I I, I want to say something real quick about Entoma's masks. Yes. Uh, they're not physical masks. Did he uh -huh. still lose the mask of man? Yes. All right. So it, then it, you'll it then you'll accept. No, no. Here, here. No, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Essence. Yes. The masks are a part of his soul. Entoma has lost his humanity. A piece uh, of it. Yes. No, that is all of his humanity. I see. <laughs> it's represented by that mask. I see. Uh, so he just says, I just want to take a nap. Uh, and he's going to take out his short sword and open up his chest and consume his own heart. <laughs> okay. Uh, does this kill him? It will kill him. And in fact, uh... Yes, the thing gets to happen. Uh, it's embrace death, right? Uh huh. This might be the only time we ever get to see this, actually. Yeah, that's why I wanted him here. <laughs> <laughs> Entima, as you split your stomach open, you die. That's what the heart is. And then you die. Oh. The mask. Uh, I will say, uh, because I assume, Donnie, the Death Mask has some kind of semi-regenerative property on you. Uh, it would return him to what is effectively half of what his max was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say, when you do this, it's as if part of your limbs are kind of regrowing, you know? Like, like, like your, le you can, your legs are kind of coming back. Uh... So I'm gonna say you also get to gain uh, 10 max stamina and go to half of that, which is like 13. All right. Uh, and I will say that won't be your action. You can go further. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna walk over here to this side. Uh, and just like. No weapon. No, no nothing. He's just going to begin clawing at this eye. <laughs> I see. So here's the roll. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this eye, you tear through, and it disappears as you hear this absolutely like 
guttural screaming from this world. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and deal uh, 100 damage with that so, crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there's a, there's a, there's a little uh, thing in there. A, Additionally, as part of the the sound bites for Entoma, right? Uh, there's there's piercing, there's piercing it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the noise he makes in this form. That should yeah, be yeah. what's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Play that. Oh, there's a sound bite for that. Oh, sorry. It's, it's uh, the pierces. That, it's pierces. That's the, that's the sound he he makes after doing this action. Yeah. Pierce is the where is it? Death mask. I should have put it in the crit themes holder. If it's not, it's in the crit themes holder. Uh, like crit it, themes actually, played PCs. Yeah, if it's not in the current yeah, session. It's not in the big one. He just has the three. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he has the. Uh, Entima pierces uh, the, the death mask. Death. Well, I yeah, it pierces the death mask. Let's see. Because I know for uh, a fact I put it in there. I'm not finding it. If you're talking about like hunters are evil, I just play. No, that. I'm talking. We're talking thing. about the sound effect. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is, guys. It's well, not in crit themes. I know I put it in there, so I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to, you can just then. play it in the bot real quick or something. Nah, it's yeah, whatever. No. It's whatever. All right, all right. Uh, uh, I I will say it's he's supposed to make the hollow Ichigo noise. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Uh, I yeah. see. Uh and that will be your turn for now. Uh, and you take five max stamina damage, but that doesn't affect you yet. Uh, yeah. Dante. Da Dante is using. Go and, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, Dante. You yeah. get a special opportunity here. Uh huh. Because. Yes. Uh, as you enter the oil zone, it's as if <clears throat> you you quickly come to realize from you know all of your your parameters and stuff that there is no time. I'm in the oil zone. You oh. guys are only operating off the time that you currently brought with you. Yeah. And it is running out. So, Dante. Yeah? And it's using all of the time that you can find from the remaining bits of that timeline that fell in, to gain enough time to time jump to a different timeline. That's literally... So bring one other person with you. That's literally exactly what it is that I was going to be trying to do on my turn anyway, so I... Uh, but that I, I know, I'm, but I'm telling you, you can yeah. only bring one other person with yeah. you. Well, Dante sort of looks around, Entima's lost it, Noelle's sort of given up as well as being possessed by Marlo, Altus has accepted it, so he looks to Waylon, and especially since he helped with Nagito before... I'm gonna try and do it with Waylon. Uh, so I will roll a lend me your energy check. Nope. Ooh. Uh, oh, that, that was for, you, you don't need to roll for, for doing the, the oh, time travel. Okay, well if that's the case, Dante's I'm gonna- I'm just saying you have to pick who. Yeah, ex okay, well if that's the case, uh, is Noelle responsive at all right now? Uh. I mean, I assume she's more responsive than she was since Marlo's not around, right? Yeah. The the oh, it's like being in here had the overclass wash off her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if that's the case, and there's still some residual. He looks over oh. to Entima. Entima's already gone. He looks over to Altus, who it's very clear Altus has already resigned his fate. He look. He just. Oh, he's, he's fighting back. He's yeah, not he like is, he's yeah. resigned to his fate, yeah. but he's just like. Yeah. He Altus. is fighting back though. Yeah. Uh, and he and he looks to Altus, and he's just like. Well, I guess both Altus, Noel, A, and Mika. Godspeed. And uh, with that, he's gonna look to Waylon and zoop the both of them out. Okay. All right. Uh, you are both zooped out. Uh, hey, gonna save the bait. Boom. Uh, and then. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way. Yeah. Zanza. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, there's a there's a funky little talent that uh, Altus got. He has a philosopher's stone, which purifies anything it touches. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, the thing is, you try to you know, like you try to pull pull it out, but well, this is, is zero percent ethanol oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's already pure. it's already oil at its purest. Form. I see. Well, in that case, it would do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's gasoline. You know what I mean. Uh, 
but yeah. Uh... Oh, so he's actually... <laughs> Wait, this is gasoline, not oil. I don't understand yeah. what difference that makes in this situation. Uh, anyway, this is going to attempt to attack A. Yeah, A is grabbed and, like, cut in two. Uh, I'm gonna make she, them feel really bad about it. She is a figment it. of Eldus's soul. <laughs> this would do effectively nothing to her. Uh, oh, Did that roll? I don't know if that rolled. Yeah, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, Altus, A... Oh, <laughs> Oh, no, I was just... It doesn't stop anything. I was just making the oil crack and feel really bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it feels some kind of emotion somewhere on the other part of its uh, of its sphere of influence. Uh, Listen, there are this many 20s because happens. Roll20 20 w wants to punish Zanza for this fucking session. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I deserve it, not gonna lie. But, point is, Altus, A, as you see it, is cut in half. As you feel something wrench from your body... Uh, he would- and Oh! Oh wait, is A- is A gone? A's gone! Uh, okay. You start to feel something quickly dropping within yourself. Yeah, so let me- let me just visualize this real quick. Uh, could you show everyone Altus's back stamina? <laughs> uh... Sure. Uh... And stamina bar. Alright. Oh! All right. oh. Uh. So, uh, as- as Alt a is effectively just eviscerated from existence. Uh, Altus kind of looks down at his hands like, oh, oh no. And uh, you, you can see his back stamina, yeah? Uh, yep. Yeah. I think they can. Yeah. Yeah. Just, we yeah. can. Just, just kind of tick, tick, tick. And there's like a pop and he's just gone. Yeah. It's, you, for a moment you feel the power of an overclass, sort of, finally, serving its purpose. Resolving, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, and the space that he once occupied is now filled with... Uh, no, I'll go. Um, alright. Uh, well, I didn't think I'd die at 14. Oh well, guess I'm just gonna, <laughs> she's gonna, uh, along with Mika, gonna just hop into the mouth, right? Yeah. Uh, and now I'm gonna have Mika roll for this as well. Uh, hang on. So, since I wasn't able to contact my dad, uh, uh is it safe to assume that, uh, uh, that... The uh, bindings on her power are slightly removed. Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought it was just her own power. It is her uh, power, but the, like she's uh, because of the the whole like divorce situation. It's like yeah. It's I like will this. say it, if Noel is questioning whether uh, is questioning her own situation with that, then because it comes from her own cognization of that, then yes, it would be affected. All right. Cool. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is, uh, because I don't have anything written out for this exactly, uh, but I'd like to use both, uh, Blessings of Divinity and, uh, uh, Whisper in the Night, uh, from her Holy and Eldritch forms respectively, to, uh, Vegeta self-detonate. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and try and, uh, because, like, Blessings of Divinity is pure, holy, uh, uh, fucking, like, power that allow that just gives her, like, a buff, and then Whisper of the Night, uh, gives something, like, gives someone a desire that they wish for, and it can work on her as well. Uh, I see. So her desire is to annihilate this thing. <laughs> Alright. At the cost of her own life. Okay. Um, you can try. Yep, that's like, fine. Like Austin said, this tech did not kill Majin Buu. Yeah, I know. Uh, so that's one of them, and I will roll the other one, uh, just because. Uh, wait, it's it's loading. Don't worry about it. I got a six on that one. That's fine. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you try to combine these powers, 
uh, as in your suicide uh, beam, you jump down its maw, and a, a, a you know a brief uh, purple and uh, yellow light shines from its mouth before it closes and yep, Boop. devoured. Entima, you are now the last living thing in this entire realm. If That's you can pretty... even call yourself alive right <laughs> yeah. now, do your job. <laughs> yeah. He just sort of like ambiently, like almost like floating, just rises above the center of its maw, looks down, and like a few inches off from the, the, the face of the mask, uh, a small bead of like purple sickening light begins to come into existence as as he begins to gather the energy and a, a single echo of a thought enters what is left of his mind death comes for all things uh, and I'm gonna roll for this <laughs> God, I was hoping for that one. <laughs> oh, dude, I had a really cool idea for one, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, uh, what exactly are you trying to do with that? Uh, it's it's he's trying to replicate the effect of what would occur if he pierced the death mask, which is a giant beam. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that you're gonna be charging it up because uh, the Kraken is going to get some turns to lash at you while you're charging. But of course, the whole time, because you're wearing the death mask, you are unfazed. <laughs> uh, let's see, it's going to attempt to strike. Uh, you resist it. It is going to attempt to strike again. Uh, you resist it. Uh, it will attempt to... Ooh, that's a D100. That's not the right dice. Uh, you attempt to strike. Again, it manages to hit you this time. Take 10 max stamina damage. Alright. That would put me in negative 2. Well, no. It takes from your max first before it takes from your... Oh, your yeah, part. no. My max is currently 8. Oh, fuck. Uh, you can still do this. You're wearing the death mask. Give me yeah. one last roll to fire this off. Alright. Here we go. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn. Uh, as you're about to fire this off and your consciousness is fading, you hear, Death comes for the living. <laughs> as, uh, as you're trying to manifest it, you know what, the energy dims out. And then from your palm, because I assumed your palm was stretched out, right? Uh, cracks begin to form in your body as as your arm leading up to the mask is splintered and as it opens there's nothing underneath as you're already gone <laughs> and then let's just do a quick little uh, uh, quick little uh, shimmy I hope you realize I've had a lot of ideas for Noelle's mother and uh, dad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Anyway, let me turn off this horrible music. Uh. Ta da! Uh, Dante, you managed to <laughs> stumble back to a uh, stable timeline. And hey, why is turn off? Guys, Guy's still not shown up. It's been like, well, like an hour. Like, come on. Uh, so, yeah, I... <laughs> Finally, someone's here. <sighs> Isn't that you? Nice to ugly. What the fuck? Where'd we go? I... Hey, Waylon, Waylon, Waylon. What? And this, there's a lot we're gonna need to tell you. For now, take this. He's gonna hand him like a like a time travel like thing. This'll take you to HQ. Use that with some of your locker stuff. They'll explain it to you. Ugh. I... 
Get me some food. <laughs> yeah, hold well, just, he just sort of collapses and uses his one arm to, like, crawl over. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's, oh. he's really hurt. Oh no. Oh no, um... Hang on. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I'll just gonna make a health potion. Uh, <laughs> but okay. He has no idea what the fuck is going on. Yeah, no, Noelle also has no idea what's going on. She's gonna shoot with fucking... Yeah, that's not a good healing yeah. potion. Yeah. I will no. say, uh, out from these doors, uh, Meridian bursts in. It was like, ah, ah, Dante, Dante. <laughs> yeah, uh... basically, yeah, his, his, he's lying there. Not only is his arm still bleeding, but within the blood there is a mix of oil. You're not looking so good. I, uh... Yeah, no. Does that have anything to do with the, uh, yes. uh the, uh, very strange yes. time thing that we just sensed? Oh, God. Okay, yes. Okay. Hey, Meridian. I don't yeah. know if my message got into HQ, because I had to time stop, but this is not a one-man job. Oh, it's that, that mission. I see. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it, it, ah. Uh. All right, all right, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call the ambulance. We can report to HQ. We have, I mean, I, mean, I, I guess we have all the time we need, uh, but I'm just, but uh, oh god. Uh and uh no, and, Yeah, and, and Dante yeah. points over to this whale and also take him with you. He knows what's going on. Uh he's he's been orphaned from his timeline. Dang. Alright. Uh Both yeah, the right, whales I... feel that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to touch a nerve. Uh oh god, yeah. Uh don't worry, you can uh come with me after this. And then from the other door uh walks through a very a very tubby man <laughs> oh, I don't like that the alternate oh, Wayland no. steps forward about to use his uh, his outclass before stopping realizing what would happen as a result yeah yeah right <laughs> Great, fabulous! I'm so sorry. I was busy getting my treatment before I could come to this destruction of a bunch of agreements. Is that like another Mr. Munch? Uh, Mr. Munch is an associate of mine. <laughs> I can hear you. Dante okay. has to be hyperventilating. Right yeah, now. no, no. <laughs> literally, literally, he's going to have PTSD. <laughs> Dante, Dante, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's going on? Mer, 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 no, no. Don't, don't. He, he can't. He can't. <laughs> um. So, question. Yeah. Yeah. This is my question. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, A. Uh, it's strange, right? Uh, A isn't... Like, A's maybe something a little bit, but it's not more than, like, A consents with certain odd members of DBA. It's not... Yeah, this is something you'd only know out of character, but it's not nearly as extreme as it was in that other timeline. I see. So she's not reacting to Oilington, really? Yeah. It's strange. Okay. It's like the same kind of animosity, but to a much less degree, if that makes sense. Yeah, she's just kind of the usual sort of... <laughs> the usual amount of loathing. Usual amount of loathing for life, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, question, is anyone gonna tell Meridian about who this is? Yeah, no, Dante, he like, he like reaches up to like grab Meridian's shoulder. He's... Yeah. Reason I was going out. So he, you're, you're saying you're saying he did something. It's, it's good to meet you and everything, but uh, he did something. <laughs> he did everything. Did, keep missing well, out. Uh, <laughs> let's go try to make another health potion. While this is going on, yeah. Yeah, no, no one uh, has been trying to. Whoop. For the record, yeah, well, tell him why you can do that. Uh, you guys are healing him. I'm gonna say, obviously, his arm isn't just gonna grow back, yeah. but no, you have no. to heal him like a good 10 stamina. He's doing. He's gonna get a cool it, the bleeding up. has stopped. The bleeding has stopped. Yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm ready to go. Well, the issue is, I, I I know that in that timeline he most likely did something, but like, you you know the code. I, I know. A, I know. A timeline from one version does something doesn't mean we can. I know. Do the other. I know. Although he does look like a quite a uh, uh, suspicious character. Listen uh, here. I know from this timeline already. There's been a lot of shit. Even today. We can keep tabs on him. All right, all right. Uh, here, let, let's get you to an ambulance, and she's gonna like grab him and like take a time device and you know tr send them both out to uh, to uh, HQ to get some medical assistance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that alternate Waylon goes with them. When did they get? Yeah. Screw <laughs> <laughs> this! I'm playing video games for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that Orlin is like, Well, I have no idea what was going on over there, but I do believe we have a nice match to get to. Oh. <laughs> uh, Please you know, tell me he's not on the other team. Can, can, can you do me a favor, kids, and stay away from this dude? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... Uh, don't accept oil from strangers. Wait, what? That's <laughs> strange. Uh, Strange feeling that I really shouldn't be near him. And uh, he looks yeah, like he'd you be guys have anything else to say? Oh, that's my episode. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for running it. Uh, I'm not gonna say thank you for running this. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no. Let me grab the character I pole. <laughs> Hey, I think I, I think I speak for everyone. What the fuck, Zanza? Yeah, I'm gonna use listen, Judgment Parade on Zanza. Listen. Listen, listen. Yeah, I'm, I'm also gonna use Judgment Parade on Zanza. Roll it another time. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Guilt, guilt, guilt. Yeah, uh, guilt, guilt. Use it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That dealt damage to me. Oh no. I saw that 20. <laughs> yeah, same. It doesn't oh. stop the attack yeah! that was this session, but it still makes it feel The bad. only reason that I'm as calm as I am is because I knew about this idea for like a while. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Don't worry, I mean, you dealt 207 damage to the oil kraken, and that will be important for later. Yeah. And and speaking oh, of by the by, Zanza, very smart yeah. move to make me feel the tensity by making me play my character that would have died. <laughs> well, yeah, because I know you in particular, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, are like that. Fucking... So I, I wanted this to be an episode where like I can do a lot of fucked up shit, but also like there are some like interesting lore bits that are both introduced and added. Like Dante's got to get a new arm now. There's oh, a yeah. second Waylon who like is displaced from time. You know, mm -hmm. that's a fucked up oil class the, now. The thing that's lived the longest in the oil zone, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Noel's parents, they know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like at, at the end, I'm just like, all right, this situation is so fucked. I need to succumb and be as eldritch as Zanza. <laughs> yeah, I will say, if you, uh, Entima, I was gonna give you one normal turn, and if you hadn't died after that, what was gonna happen is an oil tendril was going to also perfectly split you in half, and then your body, right as it's starting to float apart, like, immediately reattaches itself as the death mask binds your head together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, I can't believe Zephyr's the last person on Earth up until the point where the last person she would consider an ally is alive. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I didn't end up doing it because it would require uh finding a lot of maps and then creating copies of those maps, more so than I already did and stuff. But I wanted to have a scene uh where uh no music except the rumbling played and it would just show you different like maps uh from like dba's history being destroyed yeah uh, i'm just um, glad I that dante like all of the different <laughs> yeah. little character interactions oh, you yeah. know added to so to anyway that. chrono trigger huh <laughs> i'm just i've glad. never played chrono trigger i feel like i'd like it though if yeah it's anything. i'm just uh, well basically there's a, there's a world that dig like alien god thing that uh, is attached to the world and it, it keeps ending the world so you have to like go back and do a bunch of stuff to stop it from doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 I'm just really glad that uh, Dante managed to save Alt-Yin, Soviet Union, Akaria, and Candy. <laughs> oh yeah. There, there are also alternate timeline versions of them who are orphaned now. 
Oh, I imagine boy. he. I imagine he ported them to fucking Time Police HQ eventually, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, I, I like will they go. They're living anymore. They're like uh, a, it's I, like witness protection, where they just yeah. like place them in a, a timeline that suits them. I, yeah, I will yeah. go on the record for the end of this episode. And Tomon, again, did not know where he was. He did not know this was a waiting room for the match. He does not participate in the match. <laughs> well, I guess they need uh, another person. Hey, uh, Dom. Oh, no, you're not doing good. Uh, yeah. It's, it's fine. Uh, just grab the other Waylon. Should uh, we show off the three, I think? Well, I guess the oil... I th uh, for the for for I th for cat I think we can save her for you know no but... no because no, uh, I'm pretty sure that, I don't know if we showed off Holy Noel and uh, Eldritch Mika last time I don't think we we, we might have I, I don't think, remember I think it... I'm pretty sure here let's go to the even still. Oh, actually should I go to the arena is there anything on there Austin uh no there's nothing on the arena all right all right let's go to the arena and place yes, there shouldn't be oh. yeah I'll, I'll I'll grab Noel oh no, you just copied him that's good some newfangled art. Uh, and in fact, let me, let me copy the oil boy. <laughs> Please don't. I'll be honest, I imagine him looking very different. Well, he, he the thing is, he's very fat, yeah. and he's filled with oil. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, no. I, at some point, Zanza, I need to draw you my rendition of how I imagined him. I see. I wanted to make it still similar to the JonTron. Yeah, thing, no, no, I, I, I understand, and I still like this yeah. one a lot. I just, I need to show you what my mind was conjuring for him. <laughs> I see, I see. All right. Uh, yeah. See yeah. This one so, before. is I assume this alternate timeline is like <laughs> turbo fucked. <laughs> turbo fucked. I mean, well, I mean, obviously. Turbo uh, star fucked. Well, no. this is uh, very don't get funny. Nagi Toil in here. <laughs> Austin, he wasn't gonna be in there until you kept making the joke. <laughs> I hate the the fucking what is? It's just that just a, a mouth. Big mouth. The yeah. sins. Yeah, no, his mouth slips down zipper. through his neck and into his chest a little bit. It's really yeah. cool. Ooh, yeesh. Yeah, yeah. Here's, the, here, here's the crack in his mouth. <laughs> here's the crack in his <sighs> eye. Yeah. It's got one less of those. Yeah. Kraken's tendril. It does. You did you did wound it. Here here's that one thing that killed that tried to kill Zephyr. Mm -hmm. Uh and uh, I think that's all the art. It was a pretty yeah. uh quick, fast setup session. Yeah. But, I'm, yeah. I, I, I have to say, like, aside from the fact that like the character moments with the party were great, I'm so happy with all of the other like player characters getting their little like moments of showing how they're brutally dying <laughs> yeah well what i wanted was i wanted it to be like you get to look in deep on each of the characters in like a little bit you get to know each of them a little bit better through this scenario you know yeah <laughs> hmm. well i mean i i wish i'd been prepared for this because i otherwise i would have gotten um if you've ever played minute uh, it's a full like indie game. There's this. Uh, it is a sort of mechanic where you you have a minute to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and at like, the end of it, you die and you have and, to restart. Yeah, the, the sound effect uh, when the the time runs out would be what I would play when Ultus dies. Ah, uh, it's, it's like tick tick tick, and it's like echoes out. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, no. So, I specifically wanted uh wanted him so that I would cut his source and he would slowly tick down. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what the upclass does. It yeah. takes down the upclass, sorry. Yeah, no, you, you, yeah. I would say you kind of <laughs> picked the perfect party for this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I, I wanted everyone to have their little moments. And I think you guys know what I mean now by this isn't going to be a normal session. Don't have your normal expectations for it. Yeah. yeah. No. Hmm. I'm a bit sad that we didn't really get to do anything. <laughs> In a way, you know, like, uh,. During the escape scene, just our roles didn't really seem to matter, so... I mean, yeah, yeah that, the, the whole point was that to show that we're horribly outclassed, but, like, you know... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This like, is what- this is- the, yeah, is this is an ex role. yeah, this is an extended cutscene where we get to take control. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and do mm. character moments and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Also, by the by, uh, and if you're watching the VOD and it's nameless, uh, congratulations. I suggest we name this one Crude Oil. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Oil. Yeah. All yeah. right. 
All right. Yeah, I so, do wish I'd got to do a, do a bit more with Noelle, but I mean, like, it's fine. She got possessed. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of got brain blasted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, up next, uh, we have the singular piece of fan art from this episode from Kakapo. Let me, okay, let me. Oh, uh, uh, really yeah, so yeah, Drew. Yeah, Drew. I'm so sorry. Oh, Where Drew. You know what I mean. Made it. Where? Uh, hold on one sec. Like I'm about. I'm, it's it's in fine dining. I'm about to show it on stream too. I just had to futz around with my uh, tabs for a second. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you for that, Kakapo. Yeah. That's uh, a fitting end, end note. Yeah, and uh, with that, if you haven't voted for character on character poll yet, make sure to. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. and I'll be showing it in a hot second. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this is why I wanted to go after you and why Ballas wanted me to go before you. <laughs> no, 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 Zanza, Zanza, I'm telling you right now, yeah. it's very good you went before me. I see. It's very Jeez. good you went before me because that lets me do something really fun. Ooh, I'm, I'm glad. glad. We, we have an hour for you to prepare for that. Or like 30 minutes. We yeah. don't know. Which, um, speaking I'm, of... I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm a little sad we didn't get to do just like the littlest bit more RP afterwards, because I was going to have Entima say, just completely unprompted, it's nice to have legs. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, and for those of you who have were not listening in the very beginning and have still, somehow have not picked up on it, if you are watching this episode on the day that it goes live, uh, yes, we were aware this was going to be a very short and weird episode, so we're doing two episodes today. So around 30 minutes to an hour after this one uh, ends, which will be pretty soon, uh, we're going to be starting up uh, episode 86. But before then, let's show off character poll. Uh, let's hope that everyone's voted on it. I'll refresh it a couple more times. Ah, uh, whoops. Uh, what was that? Uh, it's in it's in all the Discord servers. I'll also put it in the uh, oh, well, uh, roll okay. twenty. Hold on, uh, I can put it in the roll twenty too. Uh, so just in case. This one crude oil. Yeah, I mean I like it unless someone else has a better suggestion. No. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. I think I know who's gonna we win the. Up what Zanza have an episode today. Oh, the episode what? is called Oopsie Fucko Boingo, and <laughs> the description <laughs> is Zanza what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, Austin, the, the description yeah. needs to be yeah. Zanza. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure Zanza that, with the exception of maybe some of the starting PVPs that I'm forgetting, this is probably the shortest DBA episode. So, uh, it's it's at least one of the shortest. Anyway, let's refresh a couple more times. Okay, so from bottom to top, with one vote each, we have Noel and Waylon Motif. Then in third place with three votes, we have Dante Chaos. In second place with four vote votes, we have Altis Flamel. And in first place with five, we have Entima. So congratulations to Liger and Entima in the most hollow way possible. <laughs> congratulations. Hey, I'm dead inside too. Yeah. Uh, so thank you all for watching this episode i think it was an episode and i think i'm thanking you for watching it uh if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more of things that are mostly nothing like this uh make sure to join us on our discord server fine dining whoa man we should have had robin dying in the oil uh but uh <laughs> He did. I think I did put him in the background to die at one point. Well, I didn't see him. Uh, all, I saw Guire, Melissa, and Yin were there, and uh, Guire and Melissa died, but Yin was one of the four that lived. Uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah anyway, uh, that's that. I hope, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to yeah. my fellow players for uh, experiencing this alongside me. Fuck you, Zanza, for making this session. Uh, <laughs> but also, You're I knew. It was, but also, I knew it was coming, and I love the idea of it. So thank you, uh, and right, thank right, you right. to everyone for uh, being a part of this. And yeah, as I said earlier, if you are watching this live in approximately thirty minutes to an hour, uh, we will be starting up again. And if you're not just wanting to wait on the Twitch page until that happens, on the Discord server, we'll be giving you updates on when that's happening. So see you all next time. 
Say goodbye to Chatterbait. Bye.